Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of, why did I blank out? March 18th through the 31st, 2019. Um, so I have shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I wanna thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel, and I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they bring some clarity. Um, those of you that would like to book a personal reading, you can email to marshtarot at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below um, email so that I can send you out that price list. If you want to talk to me on the phone, uh, you have to wait until I post those notification, that video notification stating that I'm taking calls. Um, so make sure again to subscribe so that you can see when I post that up. Um, all right, so central issue, heart of the matter, we have the Six of Cups the Five of Swords, Temperance, King of Cups, Four of Cups, Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Will of Fortune. All right, so Capricorns, I feel that there's going to be a reconciliation, a compromise, a makeup sex, whatever the case. There's something going on where I feel that you have maybe been at odds with someone and there, the both of you may have been needing to heal. There could have been distance between you and another person because healing was needed before, you know, either of you could make a move or to come towards the other person. So I feel like there has been distance between you and another person and the both of you could have been acting petty and um, jealous, um, guarded, um, maybe even envious for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I feel like that is going to dissolve. I feel like the negative energy is, is going to dissolve. And, you know, you guys are going to reconnect with your loved one, um, your partner. For some of you, uh, maybe even a twin flame, because I do see my second, one of my second twin flame cards. So there's a possibility that some of you could be reconnecting uh, with this soul companion. And I also feel like for some of you, you, you can feel this person's energy. You feel when they're ready for you to connect with them. So if it's, even though the it, things may have been nonverbal between you and another person, um, and maybe the both of you were acting guarded towards one another, it could be too, because they were like, no, they don't want to talk to me. If I call them, they're going to ignore my call or they're not going to, they're not ready to talk to me. And you may have felt the same way, like I'm not ready to answer their call. So it's like you guys were just basically reflecting each other's feelings. You are able to tap into one another's feelings. So you know when to stay away, when to keep your distance and when it's time to move forward, especially unfortunately, if it's one of those on off again situations. Um, there, I'm getting someone who may be in and out of your life um, but I mean, if you're already in some sort of established relationship long term and you guys just had like an argument or falling out, I feel like there's going to be a, a reconciliation. You guys are going to compromise and work through those problems. Those of you that are single, I feel like you're going to hear from someone from your past. And I feel like the last time you spoke to this person wasn't on the best, best terms, but I feel like the both of you are sorry and the both of you are ready to open up and start talking again. Someone needs to gain their trust back for the other too. Like someone is like, I don't know that I can trust you with my heart. Like, you know, someone is judging past incidences and um, preparing, you know, for that to happen again. So someone may be kind of closed off and disconnected because they're afraid they don't really trust you. Now, I also see a relationship that might be falling apart because someone has grown bored in the relationship and their heart isn't in it anymore. In fact, they're thinking about someone from their past and they feel that they had a stronger connection with the person that is from their past. 
this could be your energy or this could be your partner's energy. But if you feel like your partner has been distant, this is why they're thinking about someone from their past. If you're the one that's become distant is because you are no longer connecting with this person that you're with and you're thinking about or longing to hear from someone from your past. Um, now, I also feel like, I don't know, if you're involved with an air, not an air sign, um, a fire or a water sign, there could be trouble in paradise. Uh, doesn't have to be, but just because these are the standout cards. So, I mean, you could be dealing with um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, something's going on between you guys where your needs aren't being met maybe there's an emotional disconnect um, someone hasn't been paying you any attention you guys have both been ignoring one another uh, you got but guys have both j just been acting shady with each other acting shady and not really telling the truth about what you're feeling or thinking um, there, yeah, there's some sort of lack of trust. And I feel like too, the ego, ego is in a way like two people are afraid to open up. Um, I feel like someone is suffering in silence is, or expecting someone to read your mind. It's like, you can't do that. Um, so if you are thinking your partner is supposed to know what's wrong, that's not fair. You know, you need to open up and tell them why you're upset. Even if they, you know, you, there was an argument and they were at fault too. Like, you know, you can't expect them to know what's wrong, especially if you're walking around, you know, huffing and puffing and they're like, what's wrong? You're like, nothing's wrong. Or you tell me, you know, stuff like that. Like, no, tell them what's wrong. Um, maybe you need to cool off or whatever, or take a little time out, but there needs to be a conversation because I feel like someone is uh, suffering in silence and pride and ego is in a way, is keeping the other person from saying I, I'm sorry or asking for forgiveness or just overall just talking about, you know, what's bothering them. Um, I also feel like there is someone in your life who you're very attracted to their eyes. Um, this is my pretty eye card. So someone either has very seductive eyes um, or, you know, whether it's the color or the shape of them, there's just something that you are drawn to when you look into their eyes. Very hypnotic. Um, I'm also seeing a couple. One has brown eyes, one has blue eyes. I also feel like for some of you, you're getting ready to go through a breakup or, you know, like a separation or the person that you're waiting for and haven't spoken to is getting ready to go through a breakup. And that's why they'll they'll be returning. That's why you're going to hear from them, because now they're, you know, single and they're ready to talk or open up again. But someone I feel like if someone's getting ready to go through a breakup, you know, a lot of times that five, five of um, usually five of any card is indication of a breakup but I feel that someone's time is up uh, someone's cycle is ending there there's an end of a, a cycle and it's time to move forward with someone new um, you're being asked to trust the process and just go with the flow of something that that's getting ready to happen especially if there's someone that you want to be with but you keep fighting them off and especially if they have not done anything as of recent, I'm saying go with the flow of it. Now, if you know this person is all about foolishness and you have your reasons for keeping your distance, then I'm not saying that. I'm, but I am warning you that they are going to return like you're going to hear from this person. <clears throat> For some of you, I'm seeing an opportunity for uh, travel. Um, I'm also seeing the opportunity to start a new job. So finances look pretty good. You guys might be coming into some sort of wealth or income. Um, if you're an um, independent worker, entrepreneur, I feel like business is good this week. Um, or like I said, you're starting a new job or a position where you're going to get a, a big paycheck. Maybe you've been working overtime at your old job. You know, if it's not a new job, maybe it's just something about working overtime. 
um, or receiving some sort of bonus, especially if you work in banking. Maybe you made some of those sales, you, you made some pretty good referrals and, and you got a nice paycheck um, that allows you to go shopping and um, even have enough left over to save, like you didn't spend it all. So financially, things are looking um, pretty good for you guys. Now, romantically, I see someone who's changed. Maybe someone in the past was not ready for a commitment, but maybe now so they are. Um, someone has just like made a complete 180. I want to say 360, but I know it's 180. But it's like someone is just completely <clears throat> different they've done a, a complete uh, about face here <clears throat> and you're like who is this person this is not the person I know you know you're trying to figure them out who are you I like I think I like this person I think I like this new person um, so I feel like for some of you you're curious this person has piqued your curiosity um, I also feel like for some of you there's the potential for something serious to take off or something to develop into a long-term relationship, especially if you're entering a new relationship. Um, <clears throat> I see too, for some of you, this is about um, taking some sort of trip or traveling, uh, especially maybe at the end of the month, or this could be sometime, if it doesn't happen in during the month of, um, like somewhere around Easter. If it doesn't happen around that time, then I feel like this may be something that happens uh, in summer, around Leo season. Um, so, but the, I feel like that opportunity is going to to come to you. Um, now, on the downside, I'm seeing a possibility of someone getting involved with someone who is in an established relationship. Not for everyone, but sometimes that is what this is talking about. Um, let me check. I feel like this is something that's more so going to evolve into something long-term. For some of you, this is about a visitor coming into your home. Someone from out of town coming to visit, maybe family. Or they're coming to visit you. Visitors are coming towards your home. I also see someone making something official. Someone is being going from being single and dating to being officially coupled. And it could be made official in private as well as in public, like posting a status update. So I feel like someone is going to feel get the security that they've been wanting. Hmm. Okay, so I'm seeing like this a uh, couple of stories with this. Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, somebody is in a relationship out of obligation, whether it's you or somebody else. Somebody is in a relationship out of obligation. It's long term. But with it being next to the world here, um, it could be a karmic cycle that's coming to an end. I feel like it could be a karmic cycle that is, is, is coming to an end. Um... Yeah, it's, it's almost like being released from this karma. I even see that as in, you know, a job situation. Like, if you feel, felt like your job was so karmic, like these people had a lock on your life, um, something happens where you're, you're able to move on from this company or, you know, this relationship. Uh, I'm also seeing like 
you know, in order for this to fully come to an end or to have closure, I mean, you got to you got to be confident, you know, about leaving. Like if you've been saying you're going to leave this relationship because, you know, you feel like you're just in it for no reason. Now, you need to have the confidence to follow through. Um, you need to have the confidence to let go. Uh, that could also be the holdup in someone's situation. You know, someone has been hesitant on letting go and moving on. But I feel like that opportunity is coming. Uh, I'm also getting someone who is afraid to travel. Someone is so stuck in their comfort zone. They know they need to explore and travel the world, but they're so stuck in their, their mindset and they're not ready to move forward yet. If this is you, I feel like this is just a phase. This Eventually, you will overcome these fears of flying, if you have a fear of flying. Uh, or it could be the person that you're dealing with. Someone also might have a severe fear of flying uh, and being out in public, too. Someone might have a fear of being out in public. I'm also seeing something in regards to temptation. Hmm. Like someone, someone is in a, a committed relationship and someone challenges that. So someone may be faced with temptation. I'm seeing two someone's getting their ego stroked here. And again, this goes back around to talking about someone who was in a codependent relationship that is being released from that karma. So someone is getting ready to start a new chapter in their life. So one door closes and another one opens. And I feel like the next person that enters your life uh, has the potential for you to be together long term. All right, so um, I hope that has helped or resonated. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and many blessings to you.